Hi, I'm Eric from Big Pay Games, and with the help of my trusty rabbit here, I'm going to show you how to play Rambo Pawn. Uh, these are the Rambo Pawn cards. Uh, the fronts and the backs of the cards are used. They represent different waves in the game. And let's turn the camera around and get started. Okay, so here's the Rambo Pawn setup. Uh, the green bunny is standing in as Rambo Pawn. And uh, these are the future piles of cards, wave one, wave two, and wave three, and they've been shuffled. So you can tell them the wave twos, for instance, are all red. And the backs of the cards are the future waves. So that's wave four, uh, five, and so on. And then you recycle the cards. So to deal out the start, We put out 16 cards, four rows of four. And Rambo Pawn starts out with no cards in his hand. So he can only take things that have a defend of zero, which are the pawns and super pawns, or move into a blank space. So he starts off the bottom of the board. Let's say he starts here so that he can take the super pawn that has a defend of zero. Now I have that card and I'm on the board. And then from here, where am I going to go? Uh, he has this, the Super Pawn, which has a Defend of Zero and Attack of Two. So that means I could attack a card that costs two. For instance, Bishops cost two. But you can only move forwards or attack on one of the diagonals because you move like a pawn. So I'm going to go here and take this Super Pawn, which also is a Defend of Zero. Now I have two Super Pawn cards that I own. These cards go into the past. The whole board scrolls down, kind of like a video game. And then another row of cards comes in on the top. Okay, and so from here, uh, I can combine this Super Pawn with this one that I have taken. And they go into the spent pile, so that gives me four attack points, and I can take this Super Knight. And again, these cards go into the past. The board scrolls down, and another row comes onto the board. Okay, so um, I'm going to use the Super Knight, uh, winning with Intimidation, uh, through Intimidation rather. Uh, Super Knight can just take a knight for free. So I'm going to go here and take the knight. These cards scroll off into the past, the board scrolls down, and now, since we finished off all the Wave 1 cards, Wave 2 starts appearing. And so I'm um, here, I can't move forwards because you can't attack going forwards, so uh, I can use the power of the Super Knight, which lets me do a Knight move, so I'm going to go... Uh, to here, say. Two forwards and one over, like a knight. So I use this card. I get here, take that. And then these cards scroll off the bottom. And these cards scroll off the bottom. And the screen scrolls on down. And then you would refill in so that you have 16 cards on screen. And basically, you keep on going up and up through the screen. Eventually, you get to where uh, these Wave 3 cards will be. If you have to take the Queen, you would need 15 attack points, which means you will need to have taken a lot of cards to get there. And that's basically the whole game, scrolling on through. When you get past this Wave, Wave 3, all of the Wave 1 cards that are in the past pile get recycled. This gets shuffled and they become your Wave 4 cards. Now you're on the other side of the universe, uh, and you go through all of them until you get to the final wave, which is these. And to win at Rambo Pawn, you need to take both kings, the Black King and the White King, and both queens. And if you take all four, that's the winning condition, and then your score is based on uh, the counts throughout the game of how many cards you've spent, 
the lower the number the better because of course you don't want to be killing you know the basic soldiers you want to be killing the leaders and that's a quick overview of how to play